Phil's Creepy Vids. Hey there, horror fans. It's your buddy Phil here. And uh, just a quick haul video today. Nothing special. Uh, but it is December 28th, which means it is Craig's birthday over at Uncaped Crusaders. So, uh, happy birthday, Craig. Have a good one, buddy. But anyways, so first off, I got the Steel Book of uh, Suspiria by Dario Argento, the exclusive 40th anniversary 4K restoration on Steel Book. Does come in a slip cover. This is from Synapse. And there's the back. This is limited to, I don't know, 4,000, something like that. Um, but nice new artwork on the front of the Steel Book there. And the back, and I mean, guys, if you haven't seen Dario, Dario Argento Suspiria, see it immediately. Uh, comes with Synapse, Synapse Films uh, coming up or whatever. And then a little booklet. And booklet. Uh, I did take the uh, page off the back of the steel book. You know how they kind of glue a page to it. So that's just the page. And there you go. All three discs. Does come with the soundtrack as well, guys. So uh, basically, two Blu rays one's the feature film, one's your special features, and then the original motion picture soundtrack. So there you go, guys. So that is the Synapse Suspiria Steelbook. And uh, I believe they're sold out now. So sold out. So moving along. Um, first of all, I wouldn't have known about this if it wasn't for my good friend Annie Cisla. She is uh, Realms of the She Nerd Annie Cisla on YouTube. Go check out her channel. But she just posted a picture of that she was watching this, The Beyond. And I do have this on DVD. If you're a subscriber to my channel, you'll see that I had the uh, Wacky Wobbler Head doll the other day. But she posted a picture of this three disc Blu ray that was released a few years ago. And I didn't even know about it. So. I ordered it immediately as soon as I saw it. There's the, uh, comes with the soundtrack, guys. My Wacky Wobbler also came with the soundtrack, so two soundtracks, pretty cool. But there you go, guys, the Beyond on Blu-ray for the first time in my collection. And comes with the feature and special features on a separate Blu-ray. And it does come with a uh, collector booklet here. Booklet. So there you go. So thank you, Annie, for, for opening my eyes that there was a Blu-ray edition of The Beyond. I like to think that I know about stuff, but every once in a while I get a surprise. So thanks again for letting me know about that. Next, uh, I did a trade box with my uh, friend Jason. He is the Catacombs Creep. Uh, he took down his channel, so no more YouTube channel. I did a trade box with him, got his box last night, did an unboxing video, it got deleted. So I'm just going to go through the stuff that he gave me and uh, if I miss anything, Jason, I'm sorry, but I loved everything. So we'll go through it really quick. I want to make this a quick video and just uh, put out some more content. So he gave me the Agent Fox Mulder from the X-Files. Uh, this is a Vinnie Mates. So pretty cool. And he gave me a Beetlejuice pint glass. You can see it there. Uh, Beetlejuice pint glass. Pretty cool. I will definitely use it. I do drink beer, so that's good. Uh, speaking of drinking, he gave me a couple shot glasses. Uh, you got Skynet from Terminator 2. And it says T2 on the back. Licensed product. And another T2, the Chrome Endoskeleton, which I love. And it also set, has the T2 there on the back. You can't see it because of the glare, but... Oh, there we go. T2. Uh, he gave me three plushes. 
Uh, so I'll go through the plushes. We got Ghostface Killer from Scream. Little plush there. We got Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street. There's claws up. There we go. Pretty cool. Little plush of Freddy. And the one that I like the most because it's an exclusive, we got Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And this is the Loot Crate exclusive. So pretty cool that I have an exclusive from Loot Crate even though I've... Well, I have ordered some things from Loot Crate, but I've never got a box from them. So Loot Crate. Next, he sent me Jay and Silent Bob. These are the Mini Mates. So Jay and Silent Bob. Uh, I am a big Kevin Smith fan. I know a lot of people aren't, but I do like him. He's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'm a fan of Tusk. I'm a fan of Yoga Hosers. Love that. So some Kevin Smith there. That's awesome. And we got more Kevin Smith. We got Jay and Silent Bob Mini Mates Zombies. So there they are, Zombies. Uh, really good rendition of Kevin Smith as a zombie there. So that's pretty wicked. Uh, what else? So he gave me three of these notepads. I have opened one just to check it out. But they're the... Somebody makes these. They do the little Fangoria cover. And uh, let's see who it is. ES Notebooks. ES Notebooks at gmail.com. So there you go, guys. Get your little notebook there. These two I, I left in package to keep them good. But you got Sleepwalkers. And you got Little Shop of Horrors. So that's pretty cool. Thank you for that, Jason. Uh, next, just a couple little randoms that he threw in. But I like that he did. Uh, we got the little It pen with uh, Georgie. Pretty cool. Uh, we got the It Whistle, which I believe came in Loot Crate or came in one of those boxes. I saw people getting this months ago. So your little It Whistle. There you go. And uh, this item I actually really like. This is the Overlook Hotel Side Sidewinder Colorado 237 Room Key. From, of course, the movie The Shining, and it says on the back, Stay With Us Forever. So pretty cool. Gave me, uh, gave me four DVDs, but one of them has three movies in it, so that's pretty cool. So we got Volumes of Blood, Some Libraries Make a Killing. Uh, I have seen this. I will probably end up watching it again. It does come with the audio commentary, and I, I kind of like listening to those when I have nothing else going on. And these are independent guys, but they're pretty good. And then the one I haven't seen is Volumes of Blood Horror Stories. So same, uh, basically same people, but these are different. They're like uh, anthology movies. Uh, this one also does come with cast and crew commentary, which is cool. Next, we have Killjoy, Killjoy 2, and Killjoy 3. And I haven't seen any of these, even though I am a Full Moon fan. Uh, I know Larry likes the Killjoy movies. So I will have to talk to him after I watch these and get his take on them. But thank you for that. And uh, a movie called Find Me. So, pretty cool. I think it might be a found footage movie, but I'll definitely check it out at some point. So, thank you, Jason, for all of those. And then I was talking to him last night about this item, because I freaking love it. And it is handmade, a Jason and a machete. And it's pretty thick. Uh, but I, I talked to him after I did the unboxing and I asked him about this piece, and he's like, a guy makes these out of deer antler. So that's carved out of deer antler. Which I think is pretty cool. But anyways, I told him I was going to do this. I did crazy glue a, one of those Neomorph magnets or Neomite, whatever it's called. One of those super good magnets to the back. I just have it there. 
So uh, it's been hanging out on my magnet board. It looks really cool there. But yeah, excellent detail in that if you can see. The handle's all carved. And the machete has some carving in it as well. But the paint job, he does the paint job. He does everything. Made out of freaking deer antler. Freaking crazy. Awesome. So good piece. Love that. Uh, he gave me a couple really old Fangoria magazines. These are from 86 and 87. So we got The Making of Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Fangoria. With uh, my man Freddy on the cover. Which is cool as shit. And we got Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, Fangoria. So a couple old Fangoria magazines, always a nice score. Next, we got a couple smalls here. We got, and he said this was given away at a con or a something or other. A little uh, kind of skull on a skeleton but kind of a cool figure stands really good so i do like figures that you just put them down and they aren't gonna fall over so like that little dude he'll find a spot on the shelf for sure and he gave me a beetlejuice keychain uh, i did mention on the video that quinn in his christmas box gave me the mrs Voorhees keychain so now i got two of these guys so, pretty cool that I got the Beetlejuice. So, he gave me that. And last but not least, he gave me... And I talked to him about these, too. These are hangers. Uh, like, they have little strings on the top where you hang them from the whatever. And I believe these came from Spirit Halloween. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I did talk to him and he kind of thought they were too. But really good detail in this. Like you can see the light playing off the Freddy. Like that's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, and the Jason. I don't love the sculpt on the eyes with the Jason, but I mean, it's a, it is what it is. I think it's from the remake. Or no, I think it's actually from Freddy vs. Jason. The way the eyes are. But yeah, pretty cool item. You just hang from your ceiling. They up off the floor out of the way. So I really like that. Love these guys. So thank you, Jason, for everything you sent me. Uh, you're awesome. And uh, happy birthday, Craig, on Cape Crusaders. Go check out his channel. And... Uh, yeah, that's my haul. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope everybody out there is having a great day. I know I am. So like, that's my time. Thanks for yours. Have a great night, guys. Peace. So if you guys like that video, comment down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe. And we'll see you in Phil's next video. Peace.